Robert. I have a tough light. You know, you're a big guy. What do you think of this small knife? Well, right away when I first seen this knife is I noticed that when it's folded up, it keeps a low profile, but when you open it, even though it's a small, small blade, the handle is large enough to put all my fingers on, which I really like. So I like it that it will fold up smaller than in, in proportion to. So like right now, if I put my hand on there, I don't feel that confident. I'm not, with a lot of other smaller knives, I'm stuck back here. If this wasn't here, I'd be stuck back here and my pinky would be off. And I love that, so I got a secure grip if I really want to bear down on cutting something. But uh, once again, we're here to test these knives, see how tough they are. It's in the name, Robert, it's in the name. <laughs> Number three. Last one. Perfect. Yep, perfect. It's unbelievable how such a small knife can be so tough. So, okay. On to overstrikes. On to the overstrikes. Okay, plate down. Good. Number one. Ooh, that was a hard smack. <laughs> Number two. I think that's a little more abusive because I have that circle in there. I can hear that steel yeah. hitting that. Number three. Last one. That's some pretty good proof that it's tough. Yeah, because I could see when it's going over there that steel is hooking onto that. So I see him putting more stress on there. That's actually taken away from the handle being able to absorb that impact. I think you're still at 100% on that. No doubt. <laughs> that's no doubt. Yeah, that's amazing. That's 100%. We have in here the tough light. I did have to grind the blade a little bit so it stays in, so it's a little maybe not standard. Maybe it doesn't looking. kill me, is what right, you're so saying. Right, so it doesn't come that direction. So let's load this up. We're starting with 100 pounds, Robert. 100 pounds, and you know, this is only a two and a half ounce knife. So let's bring that table up just a little bit for me. Let me, I don't know if I did this, let me show you. The knife is freely, freely functioning. Okay, and here we go with 100 pounds. Okay, that's 100 pounds, that's what we were after, so that's we're a success. Good. OK, 
take a look at that. What do you think? You know what? That's rock solid. Pretty good. That's All right. Unbelievably good. Before we go, let's just put 25 on. What 25? We get, what we get, we get. So you're at 125 pounds versus your 2.5 ounce knife. There you go. We'll take it. It's good. Good. I see no damage whatsoever on that knife. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay. This Tough Light weighs two and a half ounces. It can cut up all kinds of stuff. It's a very, very popular cold steel knife used for utility tasks. But in a pinch, it makes tremendous cuts. You can use it for self-defense in an emergency. And look at the length of that cut. Wow. Starts up here and it goes in an inch. Then I go all the way through the beef brisket for more than 12 inches and exit here and there's only a little bit left and I would have severed that entire piece of beef brisket with a two and a half ounce knife that costs 50 bucks retail. Talk about value and performance, there's only one choice, cold steel.